Hi guys, my name is Alex, and um, this is my first YouTube video. Um, today's um, little topic for tonight, since it's 10:55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, um, is on microlukex and genetic links, um, whatever you like to call them. Basically, what it is, it has a loop that goes through the cuticle at the top and through a bead that's already been pre-attached, pre-fused, whatever. So, yeah. Um, the fun thing about this is that you can do it by yourself. You can self-install it, or you can have someone else do it for you if um, it's too much of a hassle. I'm just going to remind Yeah. So, yeah. Um, first of all, I'd like to say sorry for the harsh lighting right now. It's obviously very dark outside. And um, I'm just using my um, my desk lamp um, because I'm trying to get reacclimatized to school living, dorm living, um, and when I have to study and stuff like that. So I kind of have to get used to it again. Um, yeah, since I'm Going to school again in the um, in nine days. That's a lot of fun. Or eight days when our this gets put. So yeah, Michael. These are twenty inch. Is and um this is in this is one B. So that means it's a um a natural black um dark brown, and that's what my hair color is. Um currently though. My hair actually has red highlights to it, but you can't see it. Um, it has to be lighter in this room for you to even see red. But like my roots are completely black, like to, to like right here or something, and then this is all red, and then this just adds in like black and brown. So what I'm gonna end up doing is just like um, dyeing my hair black. Or whatever, I don't even care. And then um, I'm gonna ombre the extensions from the tip to about where my natural hair starts. I mean, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna ombre the hair extensions with it. And that's gonna be a lot of fun because I'm really excited about that. So, yeah. And how I'm going to ombre my hair is I'm going to follow Grit Pop Princess um, a video about how to honey dip hair ombre inspired. I really love the way that she did it. It's different, but um, I think that her results were phenomenal for someone who did it for the first time. That and I just really like, I really like her um, and her videos. So go check her out because she's amazing. Like honestly, she's she inspired me to want to make videos. So. Okay. All right. So my girl. So anyway, these I've already installed. For a full head, you want depending on what you want, like 50 strands of these or at length, but it'll add like choppy weird spaced out length and you don't want that so even if you just want length you should try and add in another 50 or 40 or whatever so that it, you know it looks good I actually have less than 100 in my hair right now it looks pretty damn good excuse me for the language I yeah um it looks pretty good right now I'm actually like really impressed um, by right now, but yeah, this is it, it looks, I'm telling you, it looks really good for just 90 so far, I'm going to end up putting in more because, um, you actually want between at least 150 and 200 strands to have, like, a hair that's full of, like, length and volume, and I want volume because volume is good. Okay, so yeah, 
my hair looks kind of weird right now because like i said um there's only about a little bit less than 100 in here so far but i have to say it looks really good so anyway yep so this is what my links look like in the hair Hold on. That's what they look like. Of course, since I did this one myself, they're all over the place. But this is like one tier, and then this is like another. No, wait. Right here. It's a little all over the place. But that's good. Because I kind of like it like that, I guess. Um, Because I feel like it gives it more of a. Um, an actual, like, hair length variation kind of thing going on. So anyway, I'm going to show you how to install one of them, and then you can go on your way and dry it yourself. They're really easy to do. Really, it can take between... If you're doing it for the first time, I'm not going to lie to you, because I did it for the first time last night, which was New Year's Day, like 10 o'clock, I didn't finish until like 3.30, and I only put in less than 100 fans. So that was basically because you have to know how much hair you're going to put through. So I'm going to show you, like, yeah, I'm going to show you um, how much hair you should put through it and how much hair you shouldn't. Or at least I'm going to attempt to try and show that because even I get, like, confused and think that what should go through is good enough, but apparently it's not, because it won't actually pull through. So, yep. Um, I don't think I said the color of this. This is 1B. Like I said, um, um, so yeah, you want to take some hair, your own natural hair, and it should be, you see that? That should be as big as you go. No bigger. No bigger, no bigger, no bigger, no bigger, no bigger. I hope you can see that. I honestly do. I really do. And then you actually want to take that and divide that in half. The smaller, the better, I'm telling you. Oh, tiny little strand. And I'm hoping that this goes through because I thought that this was a good size sometimes. Or maybe it was maybe a little bit bigger and it wouldn't even pull through. So anyway, you have it, the loop. Put it on your fingers, however you want to do it. I feel comfortable doing it like this. Because you're going to end up doing this. Taking it. Pulling it through. And then you're going to pull on this. So yeah, it's there, and then you're gonna pull through. Ta-da! Done. So. Ow. So now it is attached to the hair. You're gonna take your pliers. And you're gonna wrap it around the bead. Okay, there. Wrap it around the bead. And squeeze. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Hold on it to make sure it won't come out. Even if you don't think it's going to come out, do it again. So yeah. And there you go. That's how you attach and you self-install. But, for those of you who don't know, do not start all the way from the bottom, 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 like the nape of your neck. Don't do that. That is bad. Muy. No bueno. Okay? Not good. Um, you wanna have, you wanna at least like part, like me pretend this is the back of your head. You wanna have like this much at the back of your head. So that, oh wait, I think you see the red. Oh, there we go. See, look. Black. Red. Black, red. I look kinda like a skunk. With red hair. So then you want, and then you wanna attach the, the beads. Okay? For me, I'm not going 
any further than what I did before because I want to make sure I can cover it um, and not have to be too scared about what it looks like. So yeah, that's basically how it works. That's basically how you do your hair. And um, I think I'm going to do some hair tutorials specifically for micro loops because micro loops are a little bit more difficult to work with when it comes to hair. I mean, you have more freedom, so to speak, but then you kind of don't. So, yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, that's basically, oh, no, wrong. So, that's basically it. And <sighs> yeah. done, done, and done. Um, I don't know where I got the headband. I don't remember. I got this years ago. Still love it though. I think I got it from Claire's, maybe, but it was more like the kid Claire's, not the teenage adult Claire's. So. Okay, thanks for watching. <sighs> Bye, guys! <laughs>